Hi there, I'm Oliver Ende, the creator behind Explanation Avenue. Today I'm showing you how my complex 3D animations come to life. Everything starts with an idea and thorough research. A few years ago, I always wrote the speaker's text completely by myself. Thanks to AI, like Perplexity, I've optimized my workflow significantly. It provides source references, allowing me to quickly verify the generated text. Next comes the voiceover, sometimes with professional voice actors, sometimes with AI like Eleven Labs, which I find excellent for creating voiceover texts. I'll also link the tools I use below in case you want to build such an animation yourself. Finding suitable 3D models is often challenging. For most topics I work on, there are either no models available or they are very expensive. The internal structures of most animal animations I create don't exist or need to be modeled. It's always a mix. I buy models when available and affordable, for example on Fab, TurboSquid and other 3D model providers. Recently I've been using an impressive AI 3D generator called Rodin or Rodin by Hyper3D. The guys from Hyper3D reached out to me and asked me if I want to test it. So a big thank you to the hardworking developers at Hyper3D. Rodin is truly remarkable. You upload an image or multiple images of an object, ideally with a plain background. It quickly generates a model preview. You can determine which viewing angle the templates show if there are multiple image templates. Then you can regenerate the model until you're satisfied. Afterwards, you can create textures based on a selected image. This process generates the diffuse channel, roughness channel, normal map and metalness channel. The quality has improved significantly over time, producing clean meshes primarily composed of rectangles rather than triangles. These models are an excellent starting point and save an enormous amount of time. For instance, I utilized Rodin to create various ant species. This approach not only yielded more visually striking results compared to static images, but also significantly streamlined my workflow. However, most complex models are still painstakingly modeled by hand on the computer and my 3D software based on image templates I find on the internet. Making the figures movable, also known as rigging, is done in Cinema 4D. Then I import the 3D models into Unreal Engine, which I use for animating and rendering out the image sequences. This is also where most camera movements are created and environments are built. Since almost everything is rendered in real time, it's much faster than traditional methods. I can always see the final result immediately, allowing me to focus more on the movements themselves, lighting moods and image composition. In After Effects, I add texts, effects and animate icons. I used to build them myself in Illustrator, but now I increasingly use AI in combination with Illustrator. ChatGPT Pro delivers the best results for me when it comes to creating icons. I also use other image generating AIs. For creating textures, I like to use Midjourney because it can effortlessly create seamless textures. Premiere Pro is where I handle editing and color grading. For the final touch, I craft the sound design in Adobe Audition. I use AI 11 Labs to generate tailored sound effects, complementing my growing collection of audio samples. A 15 minute animation can easily take 3 to 5 months of work, from the initial idea to the finished product. I'm constantly striving to improve everything, but of course, errors can still creep in. I'm only human, after all. I hope this behind the scenes look showed you the passion and effort behind my 3D explainer videos. If you enjoyed it, consider sharing my channel with your friends. Your likes, comments and subscriptions truly motivate me to keep creating. If you'd like to support my work, you can contribute directly through Super Thanks or via the PayPal me link in the description. Your support helps me continue producing animations on fascinating topics. Got any questions? I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.